This is going to be our 20th show. And, um, yeah. Today we're going to have our very first fashion show meeting. Um, this is April, and there's been a lot of work that has happened prior to this meeting, especially on the collection. We, um, we just put together an, a, a document that kind of took, went through various elements of the TV show, and um, it'd be nice to get everybody's thoughts and comments and feelings on it, really. All the collection looks were, were fantastic. We really liked that there were some actual kind of moments within the show, so for instance, Ali and Adriana was a really nice moment. Yeah. It, yeah. Just, kind of, it, kind of, it yeah. just kind of breaks up that procession. Um, Ed, you had, a, you had a note about how do, we, how do we make the closing moment, the closing angel moment, as big as the opening moment. After last year, my thought was, do we in some way construct a theatrical sequence with a beginning, a middle, and an end? To your point, I think we should, you know, just really kind of shake up our thinking processes. Yeah. When do you think we'll have talent. Rihanna has agreed to do the show. She's got a she new album us from Hawaii, yes, and so. she wants to do it. It'd be great. One of the things that happened with uh, with last year in adding Ed Sheeran and adding Hozier, it was a great show. We had four artists in the show last year and it was the best show yet and it rated really well and it was exciting and so I think we keep that formula. In my head, the only thing that matters is the TV show, obviously, because millions, if not billions, of people see it. My role is to constantly battle for the lens. I found out over the weekend, Chip said that uh, we uh, uh, may be able to get the armory back if we want it. That's going to be a decision of, uh, I think, uh, Renee and Hamish and team. So what's the downside of the Javits Center? The ceiling height? Yeah. yeah. Ceiling height. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of advantages to doing, having a big space for hair and makeup and all the press. How big a camera question is it for you guys? It's, it, I mean, it's, it's enormous. Enormous? Yeah, it will make the show very different. So um, when, when designing the show, we'd have to really think cleverly and carefully about how, I'm not saying we can't do it there, but I am saying we need to think. My instinct is, if we've got the armory, game set and match the armory, but if we have got the Javits, the show's going to come really, really down. It's the Armory. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I mean, I mean, it's, a, it's not even complicated. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Armory. I'd love to start with the collection. I think the collection informs some of the creative direction. These are so cool. So we're going to start with um, Boho Psychedelic. Basically, this was born out of creating something of the rock and roll time, Woodstock, Janis Joplin. She's a rock and roll girl, but she's, uh, it's Lux and Rich, so she had some money to have some cool clothes made. Okay, exotic butterflies. What we wanted to explore was the richness of the color of the butterflies, of the texture of the feathers. It's a more abstract thing than, than psychedelic boho, but it still will give us a lot of rich, yeah. Portrait of an angel. It's very tuley, dusty pinks, dusty blues. So it's this very fragile, feminine moment. This is the pink section. Basically, it was a celebration of all American girls. So there's all these sorts of iconic... Americana. American, yeah, uh, Americana-referenced women. So this is Ice Angel. She's a ski angel but a much more focus on, on luxuries. We wanted to take it to it's a very a different sporty, direction, yeah, a so. sporty direction, but still luxe. Firework. Wings that become Catherine wheels, that will be made of feathers, that will rotate. We're trying to address it in a different way. Lots of really large, vividly colored, jewel-like embroideries, and that's it. It's important that, uh, that we uh, build a show and a balance through the show and uh, and a kind of crescendo over time. What would you have as the finale at the moment? God, I'm... I know, right? I mean, it, it, we won't lock I'm... in today. No. Psychedelic. But wouldn't you start with psychedelic? Well, I mean, Yeah, I think weird. you'd start with you psychedelic. You start or yeah. end with it. If you're going to establish at the front end of, of it, I'd start with psychedelic. It could be really... It's going to be so colorful and it... It's almost like when we did Circus to open and there's lots of texture and lots of colour and stuff going on. If we can manage to recreate something 
of that excitement, that would be amazing. One of the main things that we really need to accomplish between now and June 6, which is our next meeting, is really the space, the venue, what it's going to look like. We feel very confident that it's going to be an exciting show, but the pieces are all still moving. Lighting elements of all kinds of different shapes and everything like that that are highly programmable. I'm nervous about this one and I can't, I can't quite get it into my head. I disagree with Hamish wholeheartedly. You really, really got to be able to look at your stuff and say, is it working or not working? So this is the time of year where I like to scare you guys um, by saying the number of days there are until the fashion show. 67 days. I like that. That was a good reaction. We've been looking at all of this stuff for months. What sections go where, uh, what models go where, and it's very far along. Today was the last group production meeting for everyone to get together, to see everything one last time before we really go off and put the final touches on the show. At this point, is it worth fast forwarding to show day? Can you go back to your image? Yeah. I mean, I, I personally, I, I, I love these pieces. I'd hate for these to be killed on the day because... We didn't think about it enough now. It. Is this better to be closer to it or farther from it? Um, it works both ways, um, and I don't actually have a super strong opinion either way. You could put it either side, and you know, actually, okay, I'll make, I'll make a decision. Um, lampposts this side, um, architectural Trust stuff the other, the other side. side. Indecision is in, in what I do is a, is, is a bad thing, so you're either decisively right or decisively wrong, but indecision is just like everything just grinds to a halt and you end up with mediocrity, which is never great. President of Universal Records called me yesterday and he said, uh, he said, you know, I know you'd inquired about Selena and he said, we'd really like to try to make this happen. Um, tell me what you need and we'll send you whatever songs you want. We'll do it in any of this. And he said, we do research uh, with her fans and the number one thing in the world that they want to see her on is your show. When we come to uh, a talent's manager with the combination of the Victoria's Secret show, which is um, which is unlike anything else, and they don't get another venue like that all year long. There just isn't one. We feel so well planned, and everything is all you know buttoned up. We know the sections, we know the music artists that we want to go after, we know what things are looking like, but it's still now crunch time. O M G! What? The? It's incredible, right? Oh uh, yeah. I know. It's firework. It's certainly We're going to see money. Everyone has a lot of, you know, wonderful ideas for the show. And then it's really, you know, hurting it all together. And what's happening? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. I think it's the most intricate piece we have ever done. That's a happy moment. You never know, you know, when you sketch it and then design it and do the fittings, because that is custom made for her. You never know how it's going to come in. Honestly, that exceeds my expectation. That looked amazing. Working under the assumption we're starting the show with Boho Psychedelic. To disperse as many as we can, lighting elements of all kinds of different shapes and everything like that that are highly programmable. We're probably going so to be mixing cool. different types of sources. I'm nervous about this one. I can't quite get it into my head. The, the mix of, of the two techniques and the reveal of the first girl. It makes me nervous and I'm not sure that it sets the kind of the, the agenda of the show as we have in previous years. It was very important for me as one of the executive producers to really listen to Hamish and listen to what his feedback was because it has to work for him. Uh, it can't just be beautiful and 
um, be dramatic, it has to look good on television. I disagree with Hamish wholeheartedly about the aesthetic juxtaposition being strange. I'm entirely convinced it's actually going to look amazingly rich. You have to trust the people that you've hired. You have, you have to trust them to do um, thoughtful work <clears throat> and to have a vision. Just this coming in, super dim, backlit, smoke hey, hey. behind, content that here, girls gets preset, thing just explodes in your face. It's totally rock and roll. I mean, it's rock and roll. It's just like, ah. Anything that can get the audience screaming and excited um, to us is a very exciting opening. So we've done the first five seconds. One of the most exciting things about working on the show is the, all the different artisans that we work with. So, I'm a bit confused. This is not good. We cannot hold back because it would be at the expense of the show. Working on the show is always really exciting for us because it is a true collaboration. So we have the Victoria's Secret lingerie that we start with, but we really want to tap into artisans and their craft. We want to let them have the freedom to do creative and beautiful things for the show. I'm half of the Makery Studio. My partner Joy and I started off about five years ago. We're specialized in paper projects. I was really excited when Victoria's Secret approached us about this project because it's very rare that such a big company is so brave and so creative with their concepts. You know, we realized it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something this artistic and this out there for a company that's as big as they are. It's more difficult for us to work with new people all the time. It's a lot of work to have somebody take what their skill is and to adapt it to a wing that's made for a model. My origins were in theater and then I got into Broadway shows, operas. From doing that work, I happened to get a call from Victoria's Secret. What our shop does, we make a lot of the bigger wings. We've been doing this since 2009. It's been really exciting from the beginning. Every year, it's a new challenge. <laughs> That's what they like to say. We're pushing you to your limits to do something new. We're always about finding the most relevant artisan for the piece. And whether they're working in their kitchen or as part of a global brand is irrelevant to us. We care about the product. You're at the Lost Art Studio. We do custom leather. Everything we do is one of a kind because we work with natural materials. The music industry, the, the fashion industry, any of the creative industries, we pretty much have our client base. People like Carlos Santana, Steven Tyler, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, the list goes on. For Victoria's Secret, they have their image already in mind of what they need to have done. They just need someone who could make it really sexy and, and complement their lingerie. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> We could do with some fringing on the front after all that. Mm -hmm. the like the sketch, yeah. All right. It's cool to make something from nothing. Like, it, it's just a pile of stuff laying on a table flat, and next thing you know, you have this amazing little sculpture. I think that's great. I'm so happy with it. Yeah, so what we need to like do, turn, oh, turn around, it's, it's rather than it being stripy, I feel it feels a bit banded. Mm -hmm. It sort of needs to degradate <laughs> as red in the center, then yellow at the end. We're into the second or third month now of working on the pieces, and uh, everything is is almost at the point where they're, they're finished. Amazing. So, 
effects. Yeah, I love that it. That is Shout wow, out to Jimi wow. Hendrix for you guys. The fringing is so much better. Yeah, the fringe is so cool. Better. There's a bunch of surprises today. Do you know? No. Is cat out of the bag? I don't know no. if you guys are like a what? looky. What? No? no? Okay, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Oh, you made it anyway. You are so funny. I love it. You're like, here it is. I don't care. Wow. Cute. I'm about movement, so I wanted to demonstrate that things could be done where it still moves and still mm -hmm. sexy. I think it went really well. So... You're I'm a bit confused. No, what I thought was going to happen was that they were going to be more... 3D? Yeah. What we can do is um, add thicker levels, so make it poke I out think more. what I'd like to do is create like more cylindrical shapes to, to give it much more 3D. Okay. What I have a problem with when anything's that flat, it becomes like a sail. It's about making the show the best it can be, and if we have falters along the way by not delivering the information correctly or by being too fearful of upsetting some, that would be disastrous for the show. I was surprised, but I really agree with their comments. It was good to hear them, so I think now I know how we can make the wing better. The next essential element to the show that's coming up is our casting. There are girls, as we're speaking, who are working out two, three hours a day, every day, just for the casting. I know that is a fact. The show is 10 days away. Every model in the world wants to be in this show. So it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a very difficult couple of days. I had probably well over four or 500 models submitted to me for consideration. I saw close to 300 in the first two days of casting, which I do on my own with my team. And in the two days of callbacks, I try to keep it to a maximum of 100 girls. You just kind of have to relax. They're all lovely people, they're all smiling, and you kind of just have to just shake off the nerves. Have fun with it, basically. <laughs> to prepare for this show, I like to get in my underwear, put my speakers on, practice my walk in my tiny little apartment in Harlem. <laughs> You're meant to be objective about it, but you know all the girls, you know how hard they've worked for it. A few of them showed their emotions, but they all feel that way. Every one of them feels that way. There's several that were either fighting back tears or literally crying here today because there's such a build-up and they've been working for it and wanting it so badly. Every year it feels like it's the very, very first show. And uh, one thing that I do all year long is really try to, to work as hard as I can so I can deserve to be here. <laughs> be part of the moment that only happens at the show, at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. It's very, uh, it's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> The minute a model starts working with Victoria's Secret, um, you can kind of hear the champagne popping in the office across model world, because once, you know, the phone rang and they asked for her, the career just kind of explodes. And I know how hard they've worked for it and uh, hardly any of them will make it and, um, and a lot of them deserve to make it. You have to just encourage them that, you know, this, that it's just not their time, but that, that doesn't mean no forever and to kind of keep your hopes up and keep working forward. That's my second year I'm doing the casting and same thing, same nervous. Good morning. Good morning. You look good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I step up my workout, you know, eating right. I definitely learned a lot more about nutrition this year, and I think it's definitely gave me some better results than last year. I'm very happy this year. There is no room to hide. There is no airbrushing. There is no, you know, you have to bring it. And that's, that's what this interaction is really important for. You want to look 
very confident and you want to feel confident. You don't even just want to look confident. You want to know that all your hard work has paid off and this is like the moment that you've been waiting for. Models are no longer just pretty cover girls. People want to know who they are. They want to know her background, what she does when she's not working. They want to know, like, they want to know her. Hi. Hi, Gigi. Yeah. Hello, everyone. What are you doing on November 9th and 10th? I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you come join us? Really? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Germany. Brussels. Peru originally. Brazil, you're from the south. From Nepal. Tanzania. India. Holland. Denmark. Reunion Island. I'm from Reunion Island. Where is, where? Sorry, where is Reunion Island? It's a bit crazy because Victoria's Secret is a really amazing show. You look Turned well, on. you look very good. Oh, so I'm trying to be as comfortable as I can and to smile with people and like be happy and have fun because I think it's the whole point of Victoria's Secret. We've had two days of castings and now our job is to go and review everything. Just let it go. So if there's no, no, 45 girls in the show, no, no. I, mean, I wouldn't for fight sure. for anyone no, that's no. not up there already. She exudes glamour, that girl. There's no question. She's that good she on the that. runway. Yeah. She's yeah. powerful. There's no on the question. Runway. And she's in better. I think she's in better shape than she's been in some time. Can I move those three girls over? Wait, no. No, not okay. yet. We're still in the middle of it. Honestly, that side of the board for me is more relevant than this side of the board. They were just, they glowed. They had what, what uh, Sophia calls the magic dust. These girls are all physical phenomenons, all of them. It's quite exciting because everything's happening right now. We just have to make it much more stunning. We feel like we're all in Camp Victoria's Secret. Everybody flies in from out of town and now we just put the show together.